Hey y'all and Happy New Year. So one of the Christmas gifts I got this year was a Marlin Spike kit. This is a no-name brand, but I uh, thought I'd review it because there's a ton of them out there on Amazon, on Wish, running anywhere between $12.99, $13.99. And figured some of you guys may be out there looking to use this. So let's do a quick review and see if it's worth the money. So first off, I want to thank everybody for their subscriptions, for their comments, everything. Please keep it coming. If you have any ideas, if you have any paracord or any tools or anything like that you think I should review, leave a comment below. So let's talk about this. So for Christmas, my son got me a Marlin Spike set, which is something I want. I haven't been, I haven't used one. I've been using uh, pliers or, or screwdrivers as needed, and uh, actually it came in handy. I was making a belt, and it came in handy, but this whole set, <clears throat> there's variations of them out there. Some don't have the scissors, some do, some carry a different head, but they're all pretty much the same thing. They come with this bag, they have the Marlin Spike, they have a set of FIDs, and then they might have some other tools. So let's talk about them. First, the Marlin Spike. Nice thing I like about this is storage. So you can unscrew and you can keep a couple of things in here. You couldn't keep a lot, but you can keep a few things in there. Um, it's lightweight when it's empty. It's easy to work with because you have this nice grip here so you can hold it just like this and manipulate plus with this piece here it gives you a nice grip the other thing is and some of the of the kits out there have where you can replace these so if you need something a little bit pointier because this one as you can see is dull now I was able to use it to pull through just fine and make holes as needed but you might need if you're dealing with micro cord or something like that you might need something uh, a little bit sharper, a little bit pointier. But overall, the Sp Marlin Spike itself is very nice. I'll probably wind up removing this piece just because it's a little too long, but overall, like I said, very nice. So that's one of the good things. The other nice thing, they give you uh, a, a large needle, which you could use with micro cord or because this is also sold with leather tool kits, leather making tool kits, you could use it with that. Uh, nice, it's not super pointy, but you know, if you're dealing with leather, if you're dealing with micro cord, you're trying to maybe thread something through, this will work fine. The other, uh, the other thing that I really liked, and I didn't think I would, was this tool. This is, it's got a nice point here, and really this is nice for, if you have a piece of paracord, you, you're, uh, you're, you've lit it, and you're just trying to pat it down, you're trying to get it to uh, ball up or, or melt, and you don't want it to go all over the place. It's a nice shaping tool. So this was really nice. It could have been a little smaller, because it is awfully big. It's bigger, it's the same size nearly as the spike. The other tool that I never thought I'd use, but I did, is this one. It is a flat vid. The reason I, I found it useful is on my belts, I make a lot of Conquistador based belts. And I find that, and let me show you here. So this is Conquistador. For this, it made it very easy to thread through like such. So you can see it made it very easy to go through there and then feed through. So this was nice. Now let's talk about the so-so. 
the fids, they're just not that good. They're a variety of sizes. So this smaller one, this is more for micro cord. Maybe something with leather, but it I, I probably will never use that. These other ones, they're all rather large. And I found them very difficult to get my paracord to go through or to to stay in so I don't know what it is I, I, I have tried so like here's so I've threaded through right and what I found is as I was pulling this through it didn't hold on and it let loose everything this one same with this one the only time this one worked well is if I took a burnt end and I smashed it up and got it in there and almost like jammed it in there so but then it didn't ever want to come out so this one was probably the best of the bunch it's but it's so thick and long that it made it very difficult to work with so these I could do without honestly I don't have much use for these I know some people use them uh, but as far as the cord goes same issues with getting them in and out uh, or of the fits so the taps on the inside are just not that good Now let's talk about the the uh, the bad. I really thought I would use these, but what I found is the metal is so weak that if I'm trying to use it to pull through, as you can see, it just it doesn't grip at all. It doesn't. There's not enough strength here to really, unless you can get up, get your fingers right up on it. That's the only way. So if you're holding it like this, it pulls right through. So these, quite frankly, are kind of useless. And then the scissors. I thought, you know what? Nice little scissor kit. Yeah. Here's how it does on paracord. It doesn't. You could use it kind of like a knife, but it's not even that sharp. So, event. So you can see. Eventually, I could cut it. So I guess in worst case scenario, it'll work. But really, it doesn't do much. If you're dealing with thread, maybe for. Leather working, it would be great. But overall, it comes with a nice little pouch to keep everything in. Um, I think the price is a little high for what you're getting. Uh, if you had the option of just going with the spike and maybe these three things for maybe like an $8.99, that'd be a good deal. But $13.99 for, or $12.99 for all this. I'm going to give it three stars, uh, mainly for the Marlin Spike. It's nice. It's light. It's got the nice little storage bag and the three fids that I wound up using. Everything else um, could probably just, will probably never get used or rarely get used. Honestly, I will probably take my Planet, Car Planet Paracord fids and put them in here and kind of keep this as in my paracord bag so that's all for this week thanks to everybody for tuning in and until next time keep paracording later